Kendrick Lamar was announced to be the headliner, the halftime show for Super Bowl 69, whatever it is now. Here's the promo video that they have right here. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but essentially these are some of the footage from it. And uh, I guess it, it seems pretty straightforward, but there has been a really big conversation around um, this selection right here. Did he deserve it? Did he not? Let me start off right here. Are y'all excited about Kendrick Lamar being the Super Bowl performance next year? Let's just start off right there. I am now. I like I like dominance. And I think it's no questions asked. Hands down, Kendrick Lamar, uh, his year. Damo kind of gave me my victory lap uh, a couple pods ago by saying, you know what? Omar was right. If it wasn't for the beef, then this year in rap would be a dead year. I don't really care about y'all. Y'all underground albums and all this that and the third i really don't want to hear about that um not that it's not important but just in the grand scheme of things i don't think we've ever talked about the cassidy album from 2011 in mm -hmm. regards to the music that the, uh, rap in 2011 it was a factor but if we're talking 2011 and i'm just gonna throw some out watch the throne uh, uh um what's what's drake's marvin's room album what's that uh take care take, take care, care. I think that's that no, I'm just, saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, yeah, I'm just saying, if I've all seen. these come into this year and then we're, 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 oh, Cassidy, no, we're not, we're never doing that. So this is Kendrick Lamar's year. He's made a big, big presence. He's made himself known coming back into the main sphere, you know, reminded people. Um, so give him all the riches, give him all the rewards. We have a lot to get into, so I'm not going to over yap here in terms of Kendrick Lamar being selected. I mean, it's definitely an obvious option to say the least um he uh, omar has pretty much talked about how it's been kendrick's year um i'm excited to see if he really triples down on something he's already tripled down on again um no round twos was crazy the man does not like drake but um yeah they're, they're, I, I literally have to just reserve my answer because there's a lot more that we have to get into but in terms of kendrick lamar being selected in terms of a rap performance he's one of the greatest rappers we've ever seen i have no issue with it there um, man, as a Cole guy, <coughs> let me just say the year he's had, man, Scott Kendrick is different. I know mm -hmm. I, I had a lot of hate for him. You know, a lot of people know my takes about Kendrick Lamar. Can't hate uh, on greatness. This is crazy. Crazy run he's been on this year. This is his year. Um, the selection made absolutely perfect sense. Like it, it, who else would they have picked? Why would they have picked anyone else? I can't if wait. They're going to pick a rapper, in my opinion. It makes sense to pick the hottest rapper of the year. Um, me personally, I am also excited to see Kendrick Lamar at the halftime show. Also, the these uh notions that he doesn't have the stage presence to be great at the Super Bowl. That's I don't I don't know where that's coming from. He's literally, especially out of like all the rappers, has one of the best stage presences out there in terms of set production and all of that, uh, from the concert footage that I've seen. So I don't know where that's coming from. However, not everyone is sharing the sentiment that we have right now. Um, there has actually been a lot of pushback uh, for this selection right here. So let me read off so, uh, a tweet from Nicki Minaj. Let's go ahead and start off here. Nicki Minaj today was on Twitter using her Twitter fingers because she tweeted a lot. But let's just read this one off. Uh, she says, denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game uh, for no other reason but your ego. Your hatred for Birdman, Drake, and Nikki got you punishing Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, the GOAT? Nola, what's good? Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out. A white man, shit sad. House, oh, I can't say that. Ooh, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't say that. I can't say that. Uh, but it's good. Fuck them. Uh, no loyalty. Welp, uh, them guys will keep sunning you. TDLR, Gag City, DC, LMFAO. Uh, okay. And then this is, uh, whatchamacallit? This is Cam. This is Cameron. Uh, says he hates the selection. And let's go ahead and just play this clip real quick. Hate the selection. It's in New Orleans. You don't get Lil Wayne. You, that's what we doing? Yeah. Listen, yeah. you don't get Lil Wayne in New Orleans for the hot Super Bowl. Boys. Not just Hot Boys, Cash Money. All the songs Lil Wayne's done, whether it's Blink-182, there's no reason why Lil Wayne should not be performing the Super Bowl. 
it's one person who's stopping this. I know, you know, it's not really, it's not really a secret. Little Wayne had a problem with somebody before who's kind of part of the organization running it. This is payback. Who's that? Who's Little Wayne artist? Drake. Yeah, that not, is, this is this hating is, at this, this age is it, crazy. It's crazy, yeah. bro. Bro, bro, it's ridiculous. Like hating Mike, Mike, this Mike, this some hip hop shit that you probably don't know what's going on. To be totally honest with you, yeah. so we'll school you behind the scenes. Little Wayne no, not to be performing in New Orleans for the Super Bowl is egregious, and it gotta stop. I can do that. It, it gotta stop. Mike Bills will tell you what's going on later. It gotta stop, bro. It gotta stop, man. Yeah, and I'm it, doubling down on that. Sweet. Hating at this age is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. So can okay. can and I want to add a little bit more context because the elephant in the room is that uh, it's about Jay Z. Jay Z, when he took that position with the NFL, uh, is a pro, is supposed to be in charge of the performance aspect, the cultural aspect, the football, and all this. So he is picking these performances. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll, I'll let y'all go before I, you know, get my hate take of the week off. But go, you know, it, I just want to put that out there. They are specifically talking about Jay Z is the one blocking this and it's hatred and it's jealousy and all it's a conspiracy like to say the least hey man i would just ask when when did jay-z take that responsibility when fit no um let's just say three super bowls ago let's just say three super bowls ago four super bowls ago. 2020 yeah 2019 jay-z 19. was named the co-producer so, of the super bowl 2019 so you're telling me there have been two super bowls in louisiana since 2020, correct? If someone can fact check me, am I bugging? I think that was 16, but I can check. Um, I got y'all. Keep it. Keep it. But regardless, <sighs> I'm with the people. This is hate. This is crazy. Don't get me wrong. Kendrick deserves it. Ken- Kendrick definitely I'm deserves listening. it in Gosh. its own way. But let's be honest. This and this is way bigger than just Little Wayne. This shows us people in the South, how they feel about us. This is a shot at the South as a whole because we stay getting disrespected. When it was in Cali, you let Dr. Dre, you let Ice Cube, you let you let Snoop Dogg Crip Walk, you let everybody from, from the West Coast. Kendrick was there. Everyone from the West Coast was there. But when it comes down South, we can't represent? Hey, man, crazy. Crazy how they do us. There has not been one in New Orleans. Uh, last one was 2013. To answer your question, so and that's one, the one Beyonce for, did, if I'm not mistaken. Is that man? Like, come on, man. But the he last time he was wasn't in over. New Orleans, that's fine. <laughs> He's connected. He's connected. Coincidence? I think not. Mm. Yeah. To so I'm not gonna get into the conspiracy. I'll let Omar handle that. But paraphrasing Sage's take on it, pretty fucking stupid. Um, for me. Uh, I guess we're just going to dive into the topic now. Uh, Yeah, this is all a bunch of hoopla. To be very blunt with you, if this were Usher, if this were Beyonce, Rihanna, um, pretty much anyone that is a similar Kendrick level icon in music or rap, but wasn't Kendrick Lamar or Drake. Not a big deal. I don't, I, it's such an obvious call to make. It is the boring call to make, but it's, it's, it's truly the correct call because we have people asking for Lil Wayne to be the guy because he's from New Orleans. Now, here's the thing. Little Wayne can still be at the concert. I don't know if you guys have never seen the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl halftime performance, but oftentimes people are brought out and gee, I don't know about you, but Kendrick Drake fans does not only have not like us and euphoria out there, dog. I'm sorry to tell you that he has a very, 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 in my opinion, classic song with Little Wayne and Mona Lisa. And I book that they perform that. I, I, I would bar that Lil Wayne comes out there to perform at least something, if anything, Mona Lisa. So, again, but 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 that's not here nor there. The idea that you, you guys are like so caught up in the Zeef, the beef or whatever. And granted, the other rappers in the game are somewhat telling that, hey, maybe something's potentially there. But I think they're of the mindset that, nah, bro, we finally in NOLA. Wayne need to get that. 
I think Wayne can be on the show. I don't think Wayne needs to headline the show for it to be seen as anti hate. Like, like, look, my bad. I'm saying that wrong. I don't think Wayne not he- headlining the show makes it now hate. I think if Little Wayne, Little Wayne can easily be brought b- brought out there. I think he will be brought out there considering all the fire. And has Wayne even said anything about this? So Wayne, Wayne said that he wanted to do it. Now I can't okay, remember how long ago this was, but Wayne has said that he wants to do it. Let me then let me take over. Um, let let me be clear. Wayne has the catalog. Wayne is a big enough artist to do it. I don't want to. I don't, I don't ever want to step on this. Um, this should be a lesson to kids. Let's just even go down the pathway of conspiracy theories, and you choose your sides. When you choose your sides, these are rep- repercussions and ramifications. If I go and become an alpha versus an omega as a sorority or as a fraternity member, um, I have to deal with that. There are some places where the alphas ride harder than the omegas and the omegas ride harder now. It is what it is. If I choose Nike over Adidas, Trey Young has been screaming it for a couple years now. He won't, he can't and won't get the Olympic nod. Uh, mm. We probably have to lose the next Olympics for them to consider putting Trey Young in the, the Olympic conversation because they don't want some of these Adidas guys being on there. It is what it is. Anthony Edwards was just too dynamic, so he's going to bust in there, but everybody can't be on there. Um, so you just you make your bed and you lay in it. But what's most important to me, because I really don't care about all that, is this conversation about Jay-Z hating in some regards. I like to present this. This is Birdman um, talking about you know this situation, shaking my fucking head hating shit for real and i didn't i didn't miss it on accident it's on purpose the last one these niggas pussy at Nicki minaj at drake at lil tunchi ymcmb i'm gonna make these niggas respect us on gladys now the reason that i have a problem with this is because there was a point in time hell today where birdman was not rightfully paying the artist on the label that had them so messed up when it came to back taxes on the label. And you know who came to the rescue. Now, again, there was Pusha T talking about this. Hey, there's no reason why the greatest rapper of all time, the greatest rapper of this generation, et cetera, et cetera, should still be doing tours at the colleges. Not out of need, not out of want, but out of need. There's no reason why that should be happening. Why? Because there's some funny business going on. But you know who came to the assistance of him? Jay-Z. The man that people keep claiming, oh, he is some sort of vendetta. He would be in jail without Jay-Z. So I don't, I really don't have time. I, I don't care to entertain that conversation. Wayne is a terrible performer when it comes to stage presence. Um, like people have been saying, he looks bad on stage. He physically looks bad. He is forgetting lines. He's forgetting songs, all those things. And those things may have had something to do with it. But to then pass this buck on to Jay-Z saying that he was hating, specifically Birdman, I don't want to hear anything about that. And last but not least, Nicki Minaj, we've seen the video now of your husband at that trial. <laughs> Jesus. You're, you're, you're way overcooked. You're way <laughs> overcooked. Yeah. I'll let him have that one. Oh my goodness, I'm, man. I'm gonna say furthermore, if we're gonna get into pure performance and things like that. Um, for start, I guess for me, I don't know where Dom or Biso is gonna go here, but the downplay on Kendrick is crazy. As a person that's been to a Kendrick concert, I think two two concerts, but definitely, definitely the damn tour. Yeah, Kendrick, fun fact of the day, I guess. He's a damn good performance. Kendrick Lamar, literally in 2024, again, you guys are caught up in the beef in the wop, 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 fuck him up. Do you guys understand what he did at that, exa- like, at that concert even? Like, what, what, are, what are we actually talking about? If you guys don't think Kendrick Lamar is going to put on a good show, again, I get if you guys want Lil Wayne there. Hell, you could look me dead in the eye and say, Sage, Lil Wayne is better at every facet of rap, faucet of rap, I'm sorry, than um, Kendrick Lamar. And, hey, to a degree, you, you right got it, gang. Um, I would disagree with certain things, but, hey, fine. Because Lil Wayne is literally that great of a talent, that great of an artist, in my personal opinion. But at the end of the day, you guys do not need to pump fake like the year that Kendrick Lamar is having and the idea that Lil Wayne will probably likely still be at the damn show. You get. I, I feel like this is the definition of overreaction. 
and or niggas just being caught up in the beef that really doesn't concern them. The the pop out literally happened this summer, and everyone was raving about Kendrick Lamar's stage presence and performance. Like, I don't I don't know why that's even in question. To be honest with you, my only question with the pushback on ah, we're in New Orleans, we got to bring out New Orleans finest. Outside of again L.A., which Damo did bring up, and correct me if I'm wrong, because obviously I'm the I'm the NFL casual on this on the show. Has there been a precedence of the Super Bowl performance, the Super Bowl halftime performance? being catered towards the home talent of whatever city they're in. I think ironically, fact check me, chat, fact check me, producers, whoever. I think ironically what I'm referring to, Wayne being brought out, happens. I think literally hometown talent or artists that wanted to do it but didn't get the show literally pop out and do a song or two and then dip the fuck off. But no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about like them yeah, getting the, the actual thing. In terms of thing, you yeah. getting the job, sure. Uh, I don't think that's necessarily been a standard but um, I, I don't. I don't think either way it would be an issue, even if it was you're somehow not getting it. You're standard. Not, you're not getting it, souls. You're not getting it. It's not the fact that in the past, that's not been the precedent. That's not been the thing. Recently, it happened, so now it should happen more, and that's our expectation. That's what we feel should happen going on now, like go, forever more now. When it comes to rap performances, they better be from one of the greats of that city. Because y'all did it for Dr. Dre. So now y'all have to do it in New Orleans. If y'all do it in, in New York next year, hey, it better be some New York guy. Because that's our expectation. Yeah, that now. fucking guy. <laughs> but who said they were doing that moving forward, people. though? No. That was just a, that was just a one-time thing. Nah, man. It, it, it's not about it being... It shouldn't be a one-time thing. That's the argument. Why is it a one-time thing? Because the disrespect. I, I And I, again, I understand where they're coming from. I, I Again... I'm not even necessarily going to blame Wayne or whatever. Wayne has the hits. Wayne has the songs. He has the crossover. Uh, I don't want to hear Lollipop, but Wayne has the crossover. All that all that is totally fine. Um, there is some strategy going behind getting Kendrick. Um, ultimately, y'all would love to see Wayne. I'm not even necessarily hating on Wayne. Y'all know I'm, I'm very critical of little Wayne here, but I think I think Wayne has the catalog to deserve it. In 2024, do you have a clip of Lil Wayne B Souls currently? Um, I remember his WrestleMania performance. It was, we do. It wasn't exactly the craziest play, one. Play this, please play this clip of Lil Wayne in 2024. I, I got remember, you. I got you. Remember WrestleMania mm -hmm. wasn't that that far, but I mean, mm -hmm. it's Wayne. It's like you. It's Wayne's one of them artists that you just want to hype up. Oh wow, you're gonna play it. <laughs> you're gonna play it. I need your hands up. Right, we might get copyrighted this summer. That's all you needed to hear. <laughs> Wayne, wanna, Wayne, like, literally for me at least, Wayne, one of those people that, like, you you remember the song, you understand he passes, like, prime in terms of, like, literally vocal talent. And um, you still you still enjoy this the uh music. I don't even think like if Wayne were to headline it, oh god, a mistake. Oh fuck. And maybe that's a bad clip because I don't know how many uh I don't know how many performances Wayne has been on in 2024. But um, yeah, that that's what I'm kind of implying. The guy, the idea that people are saying that like in terms of from a performance standpoint, Wayne would wash Kendrick again. That's just completely untrue. If you think Wayne's better, go for it. But yeah, we're we're fine. Trust and believe. And people and people saying, I, and, and again, I can get all that. We don't care. Give us Wayne. Go to Wayne concerts. He performs at the local pizzeria in your town. I promise you, because the way that Birdman has him bent over on Miss Gladys, and is taking oh, wow. money from him, he's still performing. If you want to see him, go physically see him. But for that big performance of the Super Bowl. There's more to it than just this. There's aesthetic. There's whole movements coming together. And I'm pretty sure they looked at how Kendrick did his Juneteenth concert and said, hey, if we could bring this to the Super Bowl, then, hey, I, I think that that's a good look for us PR marketing-wise. Biggest song of the, the rap. And with that being said, I'm, I'm officially okay to stamp that for, for sure the biggest song of this decade. Uh, that's like a top ten rap song of all time. What, they, what not, song? they not like us. It's probably like a top. Oh yeah, 10 yeah. Rap yeah. Song when that shit rings off at the Super Bowl, it's automatically top five in my opinion. Yeah, 
when it not rains like off us and they oh, when the fault. soccer moms when the dads with the beer guts and the white uh chin hair and and white little hair like when the days are talk mustard on the beat oh, and crib walk i seen that shit being played at an indian it's wedding bro that was crazy yeah not not like us is so fucking crazy i played that in front of uh, a couple of family members that they life is church and they were like oh like like, like uh, what i got going on um I, they literally gained aura as the uh boppers would say but it literally like gained like more power more emphasis by being repeated on stage like i i, I that is generational shit bro let alone is it obviously a diss track um, it it has a story behind it. Yeah, I I don't think you said anything crazy, not at all. It's definitely gonna be going down as the top ten song this decade. Absolutely. Now I do want to ask y'all this. So, friend of the show, Cardiac, uh, brought up. I believe in Damo's replies that like people don't understand that the selection process for these performances are years in advance. Like this wasn't just picked over the last month. It was probably mm. picked at the very least last year, if not the year before. Now, let's put our tinfoil hats on. Hmm? Kendrick Lamar already knows he's getting picked for the Super Bowl. Do y'all think he instigated this whole beef knowing that he was about to perform for the Super Bowl for this big rollout? Mm -mm. Just trying to optimize no. the rollout as big as possible. No, no hmm. they've also been taking jabs at, e at each other the entire time. I would say the closest argument you would have of getting a lightning, on, lightning bolt to your tinfoil hat is there's definitely an album on the way. Um, see the teaser trailer. We might not get that song. You know how Kendrick get down, Kendrick fans. We may not get that song, but we are definitely going to get an album or a project prior to the Super Bowl or immediately following. Absolutely, mm, I feel it. Regardless, I'm excited for Kendrick Lamar to be at the Super Bowl. Um, and I think once it rolls around, I don't think we'll be hearing all this complaining. And Lil Wayne will probably pop out, especially after all the feedback. Just these last 24 hours, it's not like these motherfuckers are not on the internet. Even if it wasn't in their plans, they're probably like, oh, that's a great idea. Why not bring out Lil Wayne? That's so. what I'm saying. Like, they're going to do it. I, now, if don't, they don't, what does that mean? If they fucking exactly. bring out Young Boy. No, 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 no. If on, they man. bring out fucking NBA Young Boy instead of Lil Wayne, right. Go ahead, bro. At that point, at that point they're literally trolling. They you. bring right, out man. Hurricane Chris. Yeah, they bring out all the no like Lenigas. But Wayne, go for it, bro. Cool. I don't, a hey, uh, ultimately, um, again, kids, this is a lesson for you. Uh, it is hard to choose sides. Sometimes you just choose the wrong side. Uh, and even then, I still don't think that Wayne chose the wrong side because ultimately, Jay-Z paid his taxes and Birdman didn't. So, Birdman can't get these opportunities because he's too busy being in people's pockets. Uh, that should probably be the focus of this whole thing. Shouts out to Rick Ross for exposing it to a lot of people. Shouts out to Pusha T for exposing it to a lot of people. Um, this this one instance, I'll give the shout shouts out to Drake, I guess, but anti shouts out to Drake because he tried to step in front of the bullet to keep it hidden and under wraps. But ultimately, it should be exposed. Birdman, a lot of this is your doing. You're an awful person. Oh wow. Okay. Damn.